uh, eight, robots. Seven, and six, um, this five, one may come down to four, reliability three, and driving. Two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Both weapons up to speed, both bots jockeying for position. No contact made yet. There we go, nice oh. little dip there. And Only one of these bots coming into the fight with wheel guards. Maybe that'll play into it. Yeah, there's, of course, advantages and disadvantages to the wheel guard situation. They take up weight. They also can get compacted in onto the wheels. But yep. for those glancing blows, the ones that might shri or shred the wheel off in other situations, they're really helpful. But yeah, you can see Yes Chef driving by Alex. Very, very well done getting under the side and to the back of Stinger there. Really taking advantage of its additional mobility. Just so much gyro happening in this fight. So much. One of the things Alex told me is he kind of shortened the profile on Yes Chef for this particular competition. He wanted to get a little bit more gyro. He wanted to get a little bit more mobility out of the bot and uh, reduce that turn radius as much as humanly possible. Alex works in the restaurant industry, hence the name of the bot, Yes Chef. So um, when he came for his first competition, this was his kind of quarantine project. He didn't have work, nobody was going to restaurants, so he was working on this bot, and <laughs> testing it and figuring it out. Now, restaurants down in South Jersey, where he and I are both from, are just packed to the gills. They've been busier than ever, so he's, uh, he's had to scrape together the time to redesign and rebuild Yes Chef for this competition. I did. One, one of the big things that I'm seeing in this fight is just total reliability from both of these weapons. Yeah, I mean, 90 seconds in, um, you know, we, we, are, we are seeing, like, bulletproof reliability. It's pretty incredible. I mean, especially just given some of the design limitations of the, the Fingertech beater bar, um, you know, to, to, see, to see two of them running at full speed uh, this deep into the, uh, the match is, is pretty incredible. Yeah, the weapons are not having any issues at all. Both of these bots now having some issues, it looks like, with the with their drivetrain. Yes, Chef's right-hand side of its drivetrain, not so happy. Oh, something just shook loose there. And you might have called that, Kyle. It looks like that uh, wheel guard is pinched in on the wheel. That's right, over there on uh, Stinger. You, you've got a little bit. A little bit of pinch on that right-hand wheel on Stinger. Happens all the time. You know, those wheel guards, the internet loves them. Physics does not always agree. 30 seconds left in this match. Seeing a ton of sawdust here in the box. From these, these gyro hits right onto the floor. And you can just tell how well built, how well thought out both of these bots are. Still working so well this late in the competition after taking all these hits. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Oh. Oh. One last hit in the air from Zoe on Yashef. Stinger Damn. really showing the judges what they want him to see in the last moments of that fight. This one will go to the judges. This is going to be tough to call. Yep. All, All right. right. Uh, maybe we could start with Andrew first. Andrew, your thoughts on this uh, pretty evenly matched fight? Yeah, that was a really close fight. Um... In this case here, I would have to go, or no thoughts, or no answers yet, but yeah, I think really, yes, Chef had that for the first two minutes, and then in that last minute, once that drivetrain went down, um, it was a pretty even fight, and I think Stinger was able to capitalize from there. So uh, I don't know if we're giving our calls yet or just giving commentary at this time. Um, sorry, and your vote is for? Oh, I'm going to go Stinger on this one. That was Stinger. Close. All right. One vote for Stinger. How about you, Don? Your thoughts? Very close match. Uh, yes, Chef definitely had the first part of the fight, but once he lost the wheel, he couldn't really do much, and Stinger really capitalized on the fight after that. And, like, the last 15 seconds is what really decided it for me, so Stinger. All right, we've got two votes for Stinger. How about you, Jack? Oh, Jack, you're muted. All right. As much as uh, Stinger had, or as Yes Chef had control in the first sections of the fight, again, I have to give it to Stinger as well, because once they had control, they did a lot more with it, and in the end, were the ones that finished the fight with a fully functioning robot. 
All right, we have a unanimous judge's decision. The for judges, Stinger. the judges send yes chef back to the kitchen for being undercooked. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well played, Chris. 